Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode we unlocked the dome and we finished the kitchen. And in today's episode we're going to um, be completing more uh, galaxies, collecting more power stars in the bedroom dome. Starting off we're going to be uh, finishing off Gusty Garden Galaxy and then making our way to Freeze Flame. And uh, in this one, we're not actually going to do this, we're going to do the Secret Star first, which is uh, really interesting. You have to collect all of these question marks, they will spawn an Invincibility Star, Superstar, and then you will destroy the Golden Chain Chomp at the end over there. And then that Golden Chain Chomp will have a star in it, and I just, I messed that up. need to be like more patient with this I guess like you can't like, you spin here and then you can't spin again not until yeah there because you got to prolong it to get over to the island Oh, nope. There we go, we had to collect that first. And now you can see the golden chain shop, we just gotta destroy him and grab our star. We should be able to get a comet here now, I think. Because the comet would be... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure the... Because you, you can get two comets. Pretty sure it only unlocks one, and that one should be for the boss battle that we just did. Or maybe it's for this level. Because there's a comet for star 2 and star 3. Right now we're on star 3. So I guess we'll see afterwards. So now that we're over here, we just gotta collect these chips, and you can actually just do that. You don't have to actually use that screw. There we go, got the launch star. Now we're at the final section. And 
Now, there's a skip that you can do here. And uh, make sure you don't touch the dark spots because uh, they will make you fall off because the way the gravity is oriented. Well, let's get rid of these guys. And you can hit this thing, but you can actually, because you need to make your way over here, you can skip this by doing a long jump and a spin if you need to to get up to there. Now, the gravity kind of messed me up there. It's a bit finicky and you can die a lot trying, but it is possible to make your way up there and that is actually a speed one strat as well. And see, sometimes, because the spin kills your speed, so it can sometimes prevent you from making it over there, but it can also give you needed height so that you don't bonk your head. Like that, there we go, and we got it that- oh, nope. I don't know why I keep slipping off the edge like that. There's some kind of gravity disorienting me, because, like, where that switch is, you're- oh, oh. Where that switch is, you're not supposed to be able to fall to the right like that, it's supposed to be behind it where you can fall. So if we just wait, uh, yep, there we go. We got the sw- oh, no, we- what in the world? We still fell, so, okay. I'm gonna ignore that now. I don't know why, but for some reason, there's some other things, gravity, affecting me when I'm over there, which, oh my goodness. There we go, we finally made our way over to the star without dying. So yeah, it's just easier to do it the normal way, actually. There we go, the Daredevil Comet appeared. And it is a Daredevil Comet, so th that is for the second level. I'm not sure why it didn't appear before, but do it now. Oh. Looks like I will end up having to switch controllers. It's a good thing I have a second pair of Joy-Cons. Oh, I forgot. Oh, uh, yep. So uh, I completely forgot you had to wait. <laughs> So we just gotta wait for him to pop up, then we can attack him. And there's actually, yeah, see there's no coins here. 
There's nothing in those uh, ice pillars. It's kind of weird. Because, like, collecting them isn't going to increase your health more than one, so... Get him first try. Yes, we did. Nice. Thought I wasn't going to get that, but we got him. The Joy-Cons I'm using right now are older? For some reason, the right Joy-Con feels heavy. It's kind of weird. The other one didn't feel heavy. And, um, the left joystick, moving it does not feel as fluid. Although I'm pretty sure that's because I replaced the joysticks, of course, because on the older... On the older Pro Controllers and Joy-Cons, there was drift, so... These ones had drift, so I ended up replacing the joysticks. But the newer ones, they don't have drift, because they... Nintendo updated the design to fix that problem, which is really, really nice. So, um, yeah, my newer ones, they not only look better because they're colored, but they don't have drift. Hey, old man, are you practicing how to skate too? Or why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? Yeah, I can. And don't call me old man, buddy. Bro, I can move just as fast as you can. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, you might have a chance. Small chance, maybe, but a chance. A chance for what? Did that... Did the boss kick you out of, like... Kick you out of this area, which was, like, your home or something? Before you moved up there? So you're actually supposed to make your way over to the right, but there are multiple ways you can go about uh, making your way up the mountain in this level. So we can just make our way up here instead. And we're already all the way up here, which is a nice shortcut. And as you can see, there's this. And down there, there was a question block that um, if you touched it, it would spawn one of these down there as well. And now we're already at the top. And here's the boss. Fortunately, our thing's gonna run out, so we're gonna have to grab a new one from behind here. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot he he does that. You dodge it and then you spin at him. Because to defeat these guys, you gotta spin and then smack him. Now on the normal ones, you can just kick him, but this guy, you actually gotta spin at him. There we go, now he's gonna spawn two goons. That's fine. And there we go. Um, 
let me check this. I did one, two, three, four stars, I believe, and that was star five. Because my goal is to do at least eight stars per episode. I think I mentioned that before. But, um, Cosmic Comet, so that means we have to race, uh, our Shadow Mario, but... See, this is the third level. This area is an area at the end of the third level, so it's kind of interesting that we were able to do it now. But, um, this is a really fast area to go through. Like, there are some tricks with long jumps and spins to skip a lot of this area and do it really, really fast. Like that. And then you want to stop your movement there. Then make your way over here. So I'm pretty sure you can probably long jump over there, but I'm not going to try it. I don't want to die. We can just do that, and there we go. Made our way to the star quick and easily. Oh, if you lose to him, you die, by the way. You lose a life. So it's like, he grabs a star, and then he, like, slits your throat or something, and he just kills you straight afterwards. And you have to try again. So now we're going to make our way over into this massive hot area. Because this is like a hot and cold galaxy. Very cool. What you want to do is smack those and then stop. I don't know how, how I stopped myself the first time, but um, I guess you can just kind of jump and then maybe spin back because when you first break it, um, you can't actually collect what's inside. Because uh, there's like a small frame, small couple frames that have to go by before you can actually collect the item. Come on, grab the pull star. There we go. Now we're making our way into this hot lava e area. It's just it's kind of interesting. You can see the little triangles and shapes. That might just be due to a graphical upgrade. So you probably couldn't see that before or anything. So I think it's over here. Yeah, you can hear the star. It's above us. We need to change uh, gravity, which we will do. But uh, yeah, I think it's over here. It is, because you want to make your way right over to here and then make your way over there. So what you want to do, I believe, is this not that you need to do something to gain speed to get over there with one health left I'm not sure what it is I don't remember how to do the trick so I guess since we can't do it we'll just complete the level normally but that skip allows you to flip a lot sooner and uh, flipping a lot Oh wow, it's just it's right over here. I didn't even realize. To the right. So this isn't like a straight path kind of area. But yeah, that skip allows you to skip this whole section right here. Because you need to grab the uh, fire flower. 
which I believe... Oh, you can just get over here. Oh, wow, that's disorienting. There we go. Touch that. That unlocks the fire flower. Pretty sure there's like a... Oh, no, you hit... You use the fire flower there to get that. So then there must be another way to, um... Make our way over there. And this is the first time we've gotten the fire flower. And now we can destroy these things as well. Okay, that animation is going to stall us so much. We're not going to have enough time, so we're just going to go back over here and re-grab this. Interesting how we can't change the camera angle. Because I can't see what's behind me. So we jump here, and then we're pulled over to this side. So that skip just gets you over here faster. But that's just a normal way to do it. That's very rude of you, buddy. And he just fell off the edge. Nice. These guys can survive in such a hot area, but um, they're not immune to fire. Which is kind of weird. Okay, we gotta light that area on fire, and this area on fire. There we go. Now this area. Easy. And now we can make our way back down I guess because that's where we originally started it was down here and then we went up so and you can see this area has the cavern with the star in it also just do this and that and boom now we can make our way to the star Hot and cold collide. So this is the area that we were just in for the Shadow Martyr thing. You can see that part of it is lava, part of it's ice. So we changed a little bit for that uh, for that star, making it all ice. So you really don't need the ice flower to go over the lava. I really like this because it shows like the fire has like infested and joined with the ice. Now we're going to make our way over to this planet. You can actually get up here using like wall jumps and that backwards trick that I mentioned in back in Honey Hive. Walking up slopes, but uh, it's really hard to do. And uh, that's a really interesting uh, area to be because the geometry doesn't quite line up with what you would expect.
So now that we're over here, we're supposed to make our way around back. But we can just do that. Get in here. Grab the fire flower. And we need to... Make our way up like that. And we don't have enough time because we didn't do it fast enough, so... I'm just going to do all of this again. There we go. Now we just got to quickly make our way back over here. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. We still got it. I did not mean to take damage there, but we still got it in time and we didn't have to do it twice, so that's, that's good. What? He didn't jump properly. I guess we'll do this again, too. Oh, what in the... He slipped off the edge. Because I started going the opposite direction. Okay, let's, let's try this again and not mess it up this time. Make sure to grab that, otherwise you'll run out. No, 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 oh. That thing moves, that thing moves. We're gonna be back at the. We're gonna be back at the start. And mm, I'm not as good as the game today as uh, usual. <clears throat> Keep dying. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, okay. No, 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 why did you do that? He like flung himself as soon as he touched the edge. I wanted I was pulling back. Okay, last try. Let's see. Come on, we can do this. This will be the one. No, 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 but why did you when you jump, when he's skating, man, it's so hard. To, you can't pull back. You cannot pull back when he's doing that. Well, we're getting a lot of star bits from this, I guess. I think this is the worst I've performed so far in all of the episodes. No, this is definitely the worst. This is definitely the worst that I've performed. And I didn't grab it that time either. Let's just do this, and there we go. That's much easier. 
Finally got the star. Okay, now let's go get the secret star, which we didn't get first this time, and that would be in the first level. So this area is pretty easy, we just have to make our way all the way to the top of that mountain, and there's a secret way to do that. It's right over here. That sling star, I think, is what does it. So we just gotta make our way over there. Here. Oh, and then, oh, nope. Oh, my goodness. Why did he have to fall off? He is so slippery. Oh, yeah, and this water's cold, so you're going to take damage inside of it. Oh, no, that's coins. That's coins. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, it's that question block. Oh, and another glitch. If you're standing by the edge of this platform, the Goomba won't attack you. So now we just gotta make our way back over here. Hey okay, buddy. Not very nice of you. Okay, how do we get up here? Can we just do that? Um, maybe. Don't touch the wall, Mario. Nope. Oh, 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 the up. Okay, we got it. So we didn't need to do that. So, but I assume you would just do like a triple jump off there to get up. Now we are going to need this fire flower to properly get across. Not for here, but for up here. Get up! Don't not don't touch the wall. Get up! There we go. We did it just in time, and I'm gonna have to grab some coin. Can we make it up here? I don't think. We can. No, we can. We can. Maybe with a triple jump. I know there's a way to make it up there. Let me just see. Okay, not over there. Yep, there we go. We got it. Now we're up here and we can just destroy this. For the sling star. 
And now we just need to make our way up towards the star itself. He keeps touching the wall, man. Okay, let me just do this. Nope. I did not do it. This should. Yep, there we go. Now we're up. Finally. And we can get the star at the peak of the mountain. Oh, and that does it for Freeze Flame Galaxy. Surprisingly, we haven't unlocked the Luma yet. It's kind of weird. I thought we would have by now, but um, we're going to do Dusty Dune, the first star, and then after that, we're going to end the episode. Because we have collected way more than eight stars, which is uh, definitely good. I'm satisfied with uh, the amount of progress that we're making. Oh, and don't touch the sand, you'll die instantly. And you can use those things to helicopter your way over, and I'm gonna land in the sand because it moves you down so much when you do that. So, like, you don't have a lot of horizontal movement. You have a lot of vertical movement down. Not ideal. Not ideal. Let's see if we can grab this. And now we should be able to make it to the pipe. Yep, just barely. Oh, I guess that's a secret area. And there's another secret up there, the mushroom. The uh, life shroom. The one up. Don't touch those, you will die. They're, it's the same yellow sand as before. You can actually get inside these the same way you can with the toad uh, thing, the uh, little shroom, uh, whatever they called it, by bonking into this, and um, you can actually get out as opposed to with the toad things, you can't get out of those, you have to quit the level, but you gotta bonk, which is kind of difficult, and it has to fling you backwards into that. We can just long jump our way here, because it will shoot down one of those things. Now we can use this launch star, and then it will make us... Then we will make our way over here. 
If these things, they poop up bombs, kind of like the boss in Honey Hive 3. Upwards over here and hit this, I think. Yep, because that does that. That should get us. Nope, <clears throat> not quite. <clears throat> Gotta wait until Mari's at the top and then use it. There we go. We are collecting a decent amount of star base. Oh! Almost fell there. Saved it though. Oh, okay. Go making our way up here, and we can grab the star just like this. Oh, now the Hungry Luma decides to appear. Okay. I think we can... Oh. Just smack into the wall. I think we can do the Hungry Luma quick. Before the episode ends. Got any cheese Starburst? You're gonna ask for 800, right? Yeah. So it goes up in multiples of 200. So it starts with 200, then 400, then 600, now 800. I think it started with 400. No, 2, 4, 6, 8, definitely, because this, this is the fourth dome. Big Mouth Galaxy appeared. Okay, no, I know the, which one this is. This is another water level. This one is really cool. The one that I was thinking of, it's more of like a sand level in a tunnel. That's the next Luma that we're gonna... That we're gonna have to, um, feed and beat. That's for the engine room. Yo, this was super scary as a kid. Because this music was so ominous. And I was like afraid to actually go under here. Because it was just like a dark cave. So I was like, what do I do? But, um... You're supposed to break this, but you need to break it with a golden shell to get the star. This will open only for a shell that shines. So you need to make your way down here and grab a golden shell. Now you can destroy the booze by using uh, the uh, light from the shell, because light uh, kills them. We're just going to make our way into this big open area and collect all these shards. And there's another one over here. And I missed it. Of course I did. It's a good thing that these revive your health. Oh, there's two, there's two. I did not realize that there was two. We can just grab this one. There we go. Sling Star appears. That will launch us up here, flip the gravity. Now we can collect the golden shell. And just make our way down.
Now we just gotta go back over here. It's really easy. And, uh, what you're gonna notice is that there's a lot more booze than there were before. See, look at all of these guys. I guess that's supposed to scare you. But, uh, it's fine. So we easily grabbed our shell- Grabbed our cells, not our shelves. <laughs> the golden shell. We can break the box and- Oh, hey, look, it's Captain Toad. Man, that was close. Oh, Mario. I almost forgot to tell you something. I was trying to get a star, but I fell into this treasure chest. Let me tell you, it's even smaller than it looks. Anyway, here's the star I found in there. No, really, it's yours. This guy somehow managed to open the chest and then accidentally lock it on himself again. Take this power star. Sure. Hey, this guy's mail. And it's from Luigi. There's the Green Star and Battle Rock. I did not realize that. I forgot. Oh, oop, he has something else for me, too. I thought I already got this. Well, that's fine. Okay, I guess we're doing one more star before the episode ends. I said that, like, two stars ago. But this isn't going to take very long, so we might as well do it now. And you can see the little question mark actually appears green. Now, I will tell you the last green star is in Dusty Dune Galaxy. And if you don't collect it right away, then it will show up as a green secret star. Same with Bowie Base. If you just get the normal star first, then the secret star will show up as a green secret star. As opposed to just a normal yellow star. And the question mark shows up white normally, I believe. But all we gotta do is make our way to the end, same as usual. We're gonna have to collect the shards. Now we just gotta play the waiting game and wait until the platform reaches the end. And if you remember from the picture, Luigi's actually trapped. He got himself trapped in a metal cage. I don't know how he managed to do that, but we're gonna have to break him open with a bullet belt when we get there. Poor old Luigi, always needed Mario to come save him. Uh, I did not mean to get hit there. Die, please. There we go. Now let's just guy go bullet bill over to us. 
Oh, he hit the... Stop! Why? Sometimes the controls make you start running in circles. I'm not sure why that happens. And he... Oh. Nope. Nope. Don't know. Okay, I'm gonna just break all these open. Come on over here, buddy. Let's get this guy over here. And he's gonna... Yeah. Okay. We need to do that better. We need to make sure that... um. He's not gonna smack into the ground. So let's see if we can do this instead. Oh, nope, stop, stop. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. I think we got him. Because when you go into ground, it swaps direction so it can be hard. Oh, no, 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 we gotta jump faster. Come on, buddy, this way. That's right, get him on. Come on, guys, you can do this. There we go. Wow, I thought I'd go crazy in there. Try to save me sooner next time, bro. Really? Yeah, 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 you want this power star, right? Only if you tell Rosalina I found this one. Yeah. Come on, Luigi. He's like, you should have rescued me sooner. Yeah. Really, Luigi? You're gonna be like that after I just saved you? Yeah. That power star is mine! Yeah, because it's green like you, I get it, okay? Chill. There's, there's one more Luigi star that we're gonna get. One more. He gives us three. And, uh, the next one would be in Honey Hive. Anyways, guys. After prolonging the ending quite a bit, that is going to do it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be doing Dusty Dune, and we're going to be finishing off the bedroom. And, uh... That, I will see you guys in the next episode.